Hi, today we are going to talk about dynamic models. Uh, let's uh, first begin by understanding that a dynamic model, it's a temporal analysis of the behavior in complex environments. As we have been seeing in class, uh, we need uh, to apply this type of methodologies to complex environments such as uh, the problematics that we've been seeing according to UN's uh, 2030 uh, Sustainable Development Agenda, uh, that type of, of problematics are. Also, a dynamic model is based on the identification of flows and accumulations, feedback cycles between the elements, and delays in information and materials within the system. In the, in the right part of the slides, we can see some uh, drawings and some, some schemes that help us understand uh, how a conceptual model can be transformed into a dynamic model. First of all, let's talk about flows and accumulations. In the diagram, we have in the center of the diagram a variable and a square that represents a, an accumulation variable. They are called level variables. And, and then it's, it's a, a variable that accumulates a, a, a value. For example, an inventory can be a, a variable that accumulates something, products in this case. A budget, it's another, another variable that uh, has an accumulation. Uh, in, in terms of another uh, type of problems, like the ones that we've been talking about uh, in, in UN's agenda, uh, violence, uh, education, it, it's a variable, a concept that we can relate to an accumulation. And there are some flows, inflows and outflows. The inflows are the variables that help accumulate the, the, the level variable uh, value. And the uh, outflows are the ones that uh, decrease the accumulation of that variable. In terms of, a, of an inventory, all the products we buy are the, the inflow and the products we sell are the outflow. There is also another concept, another important concept like uh, feedback cycles. And uh, to, to answer the two questions, what are they and what's their use, let's see this next uh, diagram. Here we, we keep when, with the example of the accumulation variable, the entry flow, and the outflow. In uh, some, problem, some problems, the inflow depends on the amount that it's uh, accumulated. And also there can be, not, not always, but uh, sometimes there can be a relation be, uh, between the accumulation variable and the outflow. For example, uh, we can uh, analyze the population and uh, the births that will be the inflow are uh, related into the uh, actual population. And also the, the outflow that will be represented by uh, the deaths of people, it's uh, related to the amount of people that there are. Also with the uh, level variables or accumulation variables and the flows. Uh, another concept uh, that it's important, it's the auxiliary variables. And these variables are those who help, uh, uh, help us to better understand the problematic that we are simulating. And in this uh, diagram, uh, although it's in Spanish, but uh, población means population, nacimientos means births, and muertes is deaths. So uh, we need a birth rate that affects the, the births and the, uh, these births will be a function of the population and the uh, birth rate. And the deaths uh, will be a function related to the actual population and the death rate, okay? So uh, now we are going to a software, we are going to be using uh, the BenSIM software, the Bentana Simulation System software, to uh, construct this uh, model from the beginning. 
this is how it should be, uh, how it should look. Uh, this is benzene. And uh, we have here in the menu variable that are the auxiliary variables, level that it's the accumulation variables, the arrows that represents the relations, the rates that are the uh, flows. And we are going to begin by choosing a level variable by clicking here and another click in the layout. And uh, we are going to give it uh, a name. And the name is going to be population. Okay. This is the level, the accumulation variable. Now I'm going to use uh, the rate. I'm going to click here. Then I'm going to uh, do one click in the layout and another one in the center of the level variable. And we are going to call this birds. There's some armies. Birds. Okay. This is the inflow. Now to represent the outflow, I'm, I'm going to click again on rates. And then from the center of the level variable to the outside, I'm uh, drawing the uh, outflow that it's going to be beds. Okay. So there is a variable called copul population that uh, increases as there are more birds and decreases as there are more deaths. And we're going to use two uh, auxiliary variables just by clicking here in variable and here in the layout. And it, one is going to be called birth. Birth rate. And the other one is going to be called death rate. And I'm going to use the arrows to represent the relations. So birth rates affects births. Death rates affect deaths. And there are some relation between population and births and another between population and deaths. These cycles are because of the phenomena that we are analyzing. Uh, this is not just because I said so, but because uh, we can investigate and determine the, and find out that there are really relations of, uh, in terms of uh, the studies that have been made in the past. Okay, so this is our model. I, I, I wouldn't recommend to uh, keep clicking in the layout, but if there is something you need to delete, you can uh, use this button right here that says delete and you can delete any any uh, item in the layout okay so this is just a, a, a drawing a diagram but to make it a dynamic model we need to use and the equations so now i click in the fx button the equations button and all the variables goes to black and we are going to begin with the auxiliary variables. And I'm going to click here in birth rate. And let's say that in our investigation, we found out that the birth rate is uh, 2%. Okay, so in the equi equations layout, we are going to type uh, 0.102. Uh, uh, and then, okay. So now it changed from black to white. The same yeah, I'm going to do with that rate. And let's say that we have a point, uh, 5% of uh, death rate. Now I'm going to click here on births. And the equation says that it's a relation between population and birth rate. So I'm going to choose population 
and I'm going to multiply it times the birth rate. That's the equation that represents the births. The same is going to be done about the deaths. And it's a, an equation that represents population times death rate. And now, okay. And at last, we are uh, uploading the information for the equation. So the equation for a level variable, it's already done. It, uh, the, the software does it for us. And uh, it's, it's, if, if it's okay, it's established that the equation is going to be births minus deaths, but we need an initial value. And let's say that we have uh, 2 million people. Okay. And I'm going to save it. And to run this, we need just to click on the simulate button. And it's already simulated. Now I'm going to choose population and I'm going to see the graph of the population. In 100 year, the population drops from 2 million to almost nobody in terms of the information that we gave to our uh, system because the, the death rate is greater than the birth rate. And this is a way to analyze in terms, uh, in terms of a dynamic model, the uh, evolution of the population. Okay, so this is it. This is it for uh, this video. And we are going to start, uh, stop uh, here. Thank you.